Hi everyone, this is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. So for today's video, it's a part 3 of our video of potting the newly bought cactus or cacti. So aside from the general tips that I have given in the part 1 and part 2, today I'll give you another tip on how do I pot my cacti. So of course, it's part of the routine that if you're going to put a new cacti or cactus you have to check the cactus if it is free from pests so if there are pests you have to treat it before you put it and if there are rotten root part you have to cut it if there are dry parts of the root you may have the option to cut it also because that in that way it will also encourage a new root growth so that's why i also use dry soil mix whenever i do potting my new cacti because sometimes i do cut the roots especially the dry one the unhealthy one so it will produce more new roots and whenever i pot my cacti if it has babies especially if it is on the lower part of the cactus i usually remove it why because it will just be buried on the soy mix below so and i want also the mother cactus to focus on its growth producing new roots in order for them to be stable here in my garden so that's why i usually remove the babies especially if they are good size already that i can use them as my propagation so whenever i remove the babies I just simply twist the cactus or the baby cactus or the offset. Just twist it left and right and then you will hear a thick sound. So it's easy to remove. Just make sure that you will not get poked by the thorns of the cactus. So if you would notice, I was not using any gloves from part 1 to part 3 because I'm used of using my hands. In potting them so I'm just being careful not to prick or to poke myself with their thorns I'm not comfortable of using gloves but it is advisable for us to use gloves in order to prevent any injury in our hands or fingers so if you're not used of potting cactus and you easily get pricked with their thorns so please use gloves don't follow me so i'm not saying that i am expert when it comes to potting the cactus or cacti but what i'm sharing with you is my experience i am more comfortable in potting them bearing using my bare hands so another tip is that if you would notice whenever i pot my cactus or cacti is that i the lower part of the cactus is usually aligned or leveled with the mouth or the topmost part of the pot so why do i do that because i don't want my cactus to have a corky color or the brown color in the lower part because i have observed whenever i put my cactus that is not leveled with the topmost part of the pot it usually gets corking the it becomes brown the lower part so to avoid that i level it up and i make sure that the root part of the cactus is covered with my soy mix or my top dressing so that's also another tip or a new tip that i can share with you so it's also helpful that if the soy mix is level with the pot if ever it receives rain showers or you water them if you happen to overwater them the water will spill immediately on the pot now you don't have to wait it to go on the bottom part with the hole it will definitely spill on the topmost part so it's also a prevention of having your cactus or cacti being offered water so it's important also to level and not to soak the cactus on your soy mix because when you water it it will get really it might get rotten uh, 
it's only based on my experience i don't know with your experience or the other experience of the other gardeners but for me i find it useful or very important for me to level the cactus to the pot that i am using and also the proper or right size of pot is important if you are going to pot your cactus at least one inch bigger than the cactus that you're going to pot if there are no or it is better to use a smaller one than a bigger one so what i mean is don't use an oversized pot to pot your cactus because when you water it or you put it in a rain or shine area it will definitely store or drink up lots of water that can be caused for the cactus to die so that's a general tips that i can give you for today i hope you learned something new from me today and enjoy the rest of my video while i pat my newly bought cactus as well as the babies that i have removed from the mother cactus
so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like my sharing for today thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family friends and relatives bye for now see you on my next video bye god bless us all bye